so hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video on the new um, Phase Zero makeup. I was sent a little parcel and I thought I might as well give them a go for you. It's actually a subscription service but kind of in a weird way. It's it's by the people who did Love Me Beauty and now uh, my understanding is that Love Me Beauty has ended and Phase Zero makeup is the new, their new company, their new sort of venture if you like. So it kind of works like, um, it, it, well, I'll explain to you how it works, it's probably the easiest way to do it. Is you pay £5 a month for your subscription fee and then by paying that you get to get the products um, at a retail manufacturing price rather than paying like their RRP. So for instance, um, no that's not for instance now, I'll, tell, I'll show you the products and I can tell you what their actual price is. So this is the sort of packaging you would get it as, obviously I was sent this so I can't really comment on how the whole website works in terms of ordering things and I can't really comment on like customer service and stuff because this was sent to me but um, I can talk about the products and that's what I'm going to mainly focus on. Once you open up you get, oh I like it, you get this bag, look at that, very shiny very difficult to film and this one is packed full of products. I don't know if this is everything, in fact no I know this isn't everything. This is just lip products but I don't know if this is like all of the lip products. I'm not sure how many they have. Um, so anyway, lip products. These all um, are £3.50 if you are a member. If you are not a member, I believe it is 12 If you are a non-member they retail for £12 each. So I guess this is the packaging you'll get it in. And I have there's three different there's three different formulas. So I have liquid lipsticks, lip toppers, and lip gloss. Yes. So oh yes, I've got a mixture. I'm getting them all out, and then I'll go through them in sort of like the different styles. Let's get them all out there. So yes, close up on this individual packaging looks like this. It says phase zero, it says what sort of a thing it is there, so this one says lip gloss, and then on the top it has the colour and also a code, which is all different, so I guess if you were trying to do it, you could say it as a code. Um, in terms of actual amount of product you get, you get 8 mils. Um, it says it has a 12 month shelf life, um, I don't know, I'm going to try and swatch them all. I'm going to put on as many as I feel like I can. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to swatch them all on my actual lips. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the lip glosses. Um, this one is called Post Box Red. So yeah, all the lip products retail for £3.50 if you are a subscription member. And also if you were a Love Me Beauty subscription member, I believe there's some sort of a transitioning They'll take your Love Me Beauty credits and transition them into um, like money on this website. Although I feel like there has, I, I have seen a bit of controversy over that sort of transitioning. Um, but anyway, this is the first one. As I just said, it's called Postbox Red, nice red lip gloss. Um, I don't know whether to swatch them on my hands first or on my lips. I don't have any tissues. This might be a problem. First things first, opening them up. It's a doe for applicator, fairly small doe for applicator, I would say. Um, I'm just going to swatch it on my hand for now. Not very pigmented on that first. I mean, I know it's a lip gloss, but like, I don't know if you can really see, like there's a lot of pigment when you first touch, but it shears out a fair bit. But it is a gloss, I suppose. So yes, that is post box red. Okay, next up I'm going to do Dark Burgundy. I don't wear a lot of gloss, so I feel like I might be not the best person to actually be reviewing this, but this one's pretty. don't know if you can see. It's this nice colour, I'm going to like get you in focus. Look at that. Nice and shimmery. So... That was a really bad swatch. Um, I mean, you definitely need a like a lipstick underneath. It's not like that pigmented. The sort of shimmer is very subtle. I don't know if you can see actually on the first one, it's already sort of starting to bleed. So yeah, that was um, Dark Burgundy. They also have the names on the bottom of the tubes. Uh, next up we have Baby Pink. I feel like this is going to be the most awful colour on me. I don't think I'm going to be able to wear it. Just like that. And... Wow. 
that is like very just actually I think I might be able to wear that it's just like a little bit of a gloss so it's like a cream there's no shimmer in it I might actually try it on now hmm I actually kind of like that it has a nice consistency which I wasn't expecting That's quite pretty. If you can see. Yeah, I actually quite like that. It's not too sticky, although it does sort of move around a fair bit on your lips. Um, just by doing that, it's sort of collecting around where I've like just rubbed my lips together. But quite like that. There is like a subtle taste or scent, but I'm not sure what it is. I feel like it's sort of vanilla-y, coconut-y. I'm not sure if either of those are the right word, but something like that. It's not too offensive. So yeah, those are the glosses okay interestingly in terms of like removing i've just used a makeup wipe and they have slightly stained like they weren't on that long at all look I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing okay so next i'm going to do the liquid lipsticks since i have four of them start off with chai latte because i feel like that sounds like a nice name okay so nice sort of neutral nude brownie color okay now to try and swatch without me being able to see oh that's nice and pigmented that looks very creamy like very uh soft matte lip creamy like nyx but i do really like that color that is very nice it's quite sort of warm peachy I don't know what a chai latte looks like, but it's not as sort of, it's not as much of a coffee colour, it doesn't like, I think it looks peachier in person. Okay, next up we've got gingerbread, which is like the kind of colour I always go for, so I'm looking forward to using this one. A nice pigment again. I'm really bad at doing these swatches, that's really pretty. I really like that. Those two together, they are lovely colours. These descriptions are so great. Okay, next up we've got Classic Red. Again, nicely pigmented. This is like a very um, pinky toned, sort of bright. Is it pinky toned? I think it's pinky toned. It looks more like a uh, letterbox red in the photo, like postbox red. On camera is what I'm trying to say, not in the photo, there's no photos. Very nice. I'm impressed by these a lot more than the glosses. Last, this one is pink suede. I'm not sure how this one's gonna go. I'm hoping it goes like the other ones and it's a nice color. Ooh. I'm not sure if I had that much product on the wand then. That is, that's quite light. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to pull that one off. Still pigmented. Okay, which one of these am I gonna try on? I'm feeling, I am absolutely feeling uh, this one here, which was, not that one, I think it was gingerbread. The gingerbread one I'm gonna try on my lips. Okay, dry lips, dry lips. I feel like these um, little applicator dope applicators could have been a bit bigger. That's my sort of only criticism so far. Okay, so feels on the lips. Feels very lightweight. Very much like a soft matte lip cream by NYX or the collection. The collection one that's quite similar. Yeah. So far, it feels nice, but obviously I've not had it on that long. Have these ones dried down yet? Just about. They did. They have been taking a while to dry down. Um, it's definitely a matte, I would say. Um, what more? It just feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like I've got anything on my lips. It feels very matte, very light, just very nice to wear. So now moving on to the last category. Last but not least, we have two lip toppers. Um, I've never used a lip topper before. I don't really know what, I don't know. I've just, this is new to me, basically. So first things first, I'm gonna use the holographic one. It's called the Holo Lip. 
Look at that. I've left these swatches so that I can put it over the top, but I don't really know which one. I'm just gonna probably do like half of all of them with one and then half with the other. Wow, 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 that's like one little strike. Okay, so I've just done like a plain swatch there, so you can see that's one strike, and then I put it over the other one so you can sort of get an idea of what it would look like over them. Personally, I actually think it looks best over this end one. I think it doesn't really go with the red. Um, maybe the two on the ends, I feel like it looks best with those. My hand feels very strange. I feel like I might be allergic to it. <laughs> My hand feels like kind of, I don't know. I'll let you know how that looks like when I take it off because my hand felt very, very weird then. Kind of like, not like it was in pain, but it felt like not very nice. Felt like it was reacting. Okay, and the last lip topper is this one that's called Prosecco Kiss, which I absolutely love the name of and it looks lovely. So let's put this over them. Look at that. I feel like you could probably wear this on its own as more of like a lip gloss. Let's just watch it by itself. Yeah, just swatching it by itself, it is quite like pigmented. So I feel like it's not gonna work over all of these colors. And I can't even, for some reason, I can't even put it on properly. So yeah, that's what it looks like. It, this is definitely less of a lip topper. I feel like this is literally it could be a lip gloss in its own right, or like some kind of a metallic lip gloss. Is it actually a lip topper? Is it a say lip topper? I'm gonna put this on just like in the center of my lips because I feel like it might look quite pretty. This might be a disaster. Yeah, no, that was a disaster. Now I just look like I've got gold on my lips. Okay, screw that then. Right, so what I think I'm gonna do so I'm going to take this lipstick off, then I'm going to reapply the same colour, because I do really like this colour, and I'm going to wear it throughout the day, and then I'm going to get back to you and let you know how it wore. Actually this lip kind of does look cool, but I feel like I also look a bit weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wear it, let you know how I feel about it throughout the day, and get back to you. I'm about to have lunch, so this should be quite interesting. Oh wow, I've just tried to remove all the liquid lipsticks on my hand. I think it's gonna need another wipe. Okay, I've got no like red patches or anything, so I don't think I was allergic to that. Okay, so hello. It has been four and a half hours. No, yes, four and a half hours later. Uh, yes, it has been four and a half. So, the lipstick. I have actually really enjoyed wearing this. Um, definitely, you would need to touch up throughout the day. I don't know if you can really see. It's pretty much gone there. It definitely worn out. I've bit um i have quite dry lips anyway at the moment so i'm not gonna like really comment on that because i feel like it'd be kind of unfair um hasn't actually been bleeding like it's stuck pretty well to its lines and stuff so i am quite pleased with that but i have really enjoyed wearing it i haven't felt like i've had anything on my lips hasn't been a bother at all so in terms of the formula of the liquid lipsticks i am completely there i'm definitely gonna be wearing them all at some point well was this one a liquid lipstick i'm not too sure that's gonna be my color but Anyway, really enjoyed those. I did also just want to mention um, that they are releasing new products every season. So at the moment it's just lipsticks and they also have a magnetic palette, which is 11 pounds if you're a non-member and four pounds 80 if you are a member. Um, and also just to note that um, when you order stuff, the postage and packaging is 395. So that is a fairly high postage packaging, I think, but it's not the biggest company in the world, so I guess, you know, you've got to pay something somewhere. Although I kind of feel like if you're paying your membership fees, should that not be included? Like, you know, one of those things. Um, so yeah, new products every season, so keep an eye out on their Instagram. Um, I will have it down below um, with the website where you can buy the stuff from. And I used to have a discount code, but I'm not too sure whether I still do. So if there is one, it will be down below with all the information. And yeah, I am pleasantly surprised with this company. Um, I, do you know what, the more I was thinking about it though with the packaging is I just feel like this is all going in the bin. Like I've taken everything out of it and this plastic bag, is it really necessary? You know, thinking about the environment here, I feel like they could have just put some like recycled paper or something in there, like shredded paper or something. And that might've been a bit better, a bit more environmentally friendly, but we're still quite a way away I feel like with the makeup industry and being more environmentally friendly and recycling and all of that loveliness. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. 
please let me know if you feel like trying this out or if you've had an experience with it and I will see you next time. Bye!